Hey what's up everybody it's Talos with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to completely theme Android Marshmallow with layers. And this is actually one of my favorite aspects of Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Basically Sony was looking for a way to theme their Xperia devices and came up with a framework called Runtime Resource Overlays or RRO. Then being the nice guys that they are, Sony donated RRO to Android's main code base and Google took over development from there. At this point, Google's finally got it all ready, so RRO is officially baked into Android 6.0 now. It's mainly intended as a way for manufacturers to be able to skin Android to their liking, but with root access and an app called Layers, us end users can use it to theme our Android devices completely. To get this one going, you will need to be rooted, and of course you'll need to be running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So if that's you, go ahead and head to the Play Store and install an app called BusyBox on Rails. The regular BusyBox app from developer Sterickson won't work on all devices, so I'd recommend installing this version. Then basically just open the app, grant it super user access, and hit this install button down here in the bottom right corner. Once you've done that, you're ready to install Layers and start theming your device. So head to the Play Store and install a free app called Layers Manager which I have linked out at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks, by the way. Then once you've got it installed, go ahead and open the app and hit Grant on the Super User Access request here. After you've done all that, the only thing left to do is install some themes. So once you've made it to the Layers main menu here, tap this Play Store entry at the bottom. This will take you to a listing of all the Layers compatible themes on the Play Store, and basically you just install them like you would with any other app. So me, for instance, I like this Sky Blue theme, and I went ahead and installed it, which means I'm ready to apply the theme. So head back out to the Layers main menu and pull down to refresh and you'll see your newly installed theme. From here just select the theme that you'd like to apply and then scroll down a bit and look at all the things that it's capable of theming. You can select each of these elements individually if you'd only like to theme certain aspects but if you just like to apply the entire theme, tap this select all overlays button at the top of the menu. From here just tap the floating action button in the bottom right corner and then select OK when it asks if you'd like to install the overlays. Once it's done there you'll get a little message at the bottom of the screen saying that the overlay was installed and that you need to reboot so just take care of that and when you get back up your theme should be applied. Now these layers themes are capable of theming just about anything from apps to system menus to pop-ups even. So the changes are pretty far reaching and the themes cover just about every aspect of Android. One other cool thing I should note is that you can combine multiple layers into one super theme. So just apply certain elements from one theme, then reboot, then apply different elements from a second theme and so on. But it's a really awesome theme engine and you can use it on stock Android with simple root access so it doesn't get much better than that does it? But for the full breakdown be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com and as always we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks but until then Happy Gadget Hacking!